19 thieves caught red-handed, Chamber of Commerce members weigh in on 2020 prospects, charges filed in road rage stabbing. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. Two teens were arrested over the weekend after being caught red-handed breaking into garages and vehicles in Sheboygan. Police say a Sheboygan resident reported the juveniles trying to get into their garage and that they had been scared off. Officers found the juveniles and learned they had entered several vehicles and garages and they had stolen items on, on them when they were arrested. Police are reminding people again to make sure that their vehicles are locked and that nothing valuable is being left in your car at night and that installing motion activated lights would also help deter would be thieves. Members of the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce have weighed in on economic expectations and plans for 2020. Results of the 2020 Business Outlook Survey were released during J January 23rd meeting and published by the Sheboygan Economic Development Corporation this morning. The survey shows that 52% of the Sheboygan County businesses expect to expand employee numbers during 2020 down from 59% last year. Business management, manufacturing transportation, and finance IT compromise or comprise in the top three hiring categories. A major majority of the resp respondents expect some wage growth this year, mostly between one and 5%, and talent recruitment, competition, and talent development were cited as top three challenges facing local firms. 80% said that they recommend moving to Sheboygan County to a friend. A 37-year-old Two Rivers man will spend the next 15 years behind bars, followed by 10 years of supervised release. Clint Blaha was found guilty of possess possessing with the intent to distribute over 50 grams of actual methamphetamine. Blaha was monitored for interstate wire transfers and his travel sur surveilled by the Manitowoc County MEG unit in May of last year. And in July, Blaha was arrested in traffic stop that yielded over 77 grams of meth. A search of his residence revealed another one and a quarter pounds of crystal meth packaged for distribution. In pronouncing sentence, Senior District Judge William Greisbach noted the serious nature of Blaha's offense and the need to send a strong message of deterrence to anyone who might attempt distributing drugs in Northeast Wisconsin. High school students from Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, Ozaki, and Washington counties will converge on the UW Green Bay Sheboygan campus March 14th through the 17th for the first annual Community Youth Voice Conference. The goal of the event is to give young people a chance to be heard on current issues and for adults that can do something to listen. Facilitators will help those attending to develop presentations to be shared with others such as the County Clerk, Safe Harbor, and partners from Inspire Sheboygan and Washington counties and the Sheboygan Aging and Disability Resource Center. Those attending will have to come up with $200, but that will include lodging at Blue Harbor, transportation, meals, and all activities. Those interested can visit Sheboygan Extension Wisconsin for more information and to register. Sheboygan residents are being encouraged to help shape the city by participating in the City of Sheboygan's annual community survey. The brief online survey, which should take under 10 minutes to complete, will be used by the city staff and officials as they address quality of life issues and the services the city provides. 
The survey will be available online at, until February 23rd. And as, in, as, an, as an incentive, the chance to win $100 in Sheboygan County Chamber cash is being offered for com completing the form. And finally, an Iola man faces charges for allegedly stabbing and killing a man during a road rage incident. Bradley Trinwith, 42, of McGuanago, died at Wapaka's Theta Care Hospital after being stabbed in the neck during a fight. According to a criminal complaint, Tyler Knutson, 23, of Iola, has been charged with first-degree intentional homicide in the death. Prosecutors say the fight followed a road rage incident near downtown Iola. Both Knutson and Trinwith were passengers in the vehicles involved, and those vehicles pulled into a nearby driveway where the fight ensued. Knutson is alleged to have pulled out a pocket knife and stabbed Trinwith. Knutson and his family argue he was acting in self-defense and Knutson is being held on a $500,000 cash bond. He is due back in court next Tuesday. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.